Hey guys, what's up? Austin Smith here with some polyhedral dice. This video would be a review, but it's kind of hard to review dice. So it's going to be a showcase of some of the more odd dice you can get. These are fairly standard. Uh, you can get them with a bunch of role-playing games, Dungeons & Dragons obviously being the most well-known. They're in no particular order here, but you have the, the six-sided die. That's pretty standard. Below that you have the four-sided die, which a bunch of people complain is pointy. Uh, you have the eight-sided die, a ten-sided die, most sets usually have two of these, uh, one for the tens place and one for the units place, so you can essentially have a 100-sided die. Uh, and you have a 12, which is probably my favorite, and uh, the 20, which is the most iconic of the weird dice. This was my first set since it, uh, I kind of assembled it out of dice that I bought in various places, which is why it doesn't have the other 10 sided. A much more boring version of this set would be this, which is all of the same dice except there is the tens dice I referred to earlier. And these are all white with black numbers. So what I was talking about is you could take these two and you could roll them and uh, that is 16. That's a really bad roll. Anyway, these are fairly standard uh, odd dice, I guess. Standard odd. Standard different. And uh, you can get all sorts of dice with all sorts of different sides. Some of them are more easy to come across than others. Even numbers are probably some of the easiest to come across. These are some of those uh, interesting ones. This one is a 14 sided die. Yeah, 14. Uh, which looks, obviously, these two look very similar to the, the 12. Um, maybe I should grab the white 12. There's the 12. So this one's 14. Um, I mean, they, all these work. They're dice. Um, some of these uh, are more commonly available than others. For instance, I believe the 24 is available for a bunch of different companies. This one here is uh, 18. There we go. There's the 18-sided and the 14-sided. That pretty much gets you, coupled with this one, the 16, gets you to 20 um, for, with even numbers that you know actually matter. You don't get... Actually, it gets you to 20 with even numbers. What am I talking about? Anyway, so you got a 16 there. The 16 looks conspicuously like the 10 because uh, you'll see that that's a, a cheat that you can use. If you look at a bunch of dice, they're, they're often reshaped sort of like this. They're also sometimes reshaped like uh, crystals. So you can get most of this normal set over here in a crystal thing that they're just kind of uh, flat sides and you roll them and it can't land on the side can't land on the ends and you just have like 20 sides wrapped around in a cylinder and uh, they're just harder to use so I never buy them anyway here's a 24 this one's like a, a six-sided except with four triangles kind of ground into it big six-sided uh, and obviously six times four is 24 so there's the 24 right there uh, this one is available from a couple different manufacturers essentially in the same design uh, I don't know if you can copyright um, these designs, I don't know, whatever. Uh, this one's a 30. I like this one a lot. Uh, it's just the right size to where it rolls. Wow, that was nice. It's where it rolls well, but it doesn't. It doesn't go on forever. Like these, the the common ones, like the 20, it stops rolling fairly quickly. But if you get much bigger than 30, and these ones too, they roll. They stop rolling fairly quickly. Um, and so this. Uh, 30 is about as big as you can get, and we'll see some bigger ones, and they don't like to stop rolling. Um, anyway, these dice here were designed in a particular way that I believe, they call them, uh, they were originally from a 3D printing service, and now they're mass produced, I believe. Uh, and the way they did them is they had a sphere, and then they just kind of flattened out faces. So you can see, unlike the angles of, say, this D8, where it's I mean, you can you can tell it was a, a geometric shape. This was a circle that they just kind of flattened out areas on, so it's not like shapes being put together. So the edges are much more rounded, even though these ones have gone through a rock tumbler, so they're kind of rounded. Uh, this one is much more rounded. These two were made that way, and that is really the basis for some of the odd numbered dice that I will show you in just a second because uh, it's hard to make odd-sided dice. The first one I'm going to show you is different though. This is a three-sided die. This one you might notice is a pearl because I couldn't find easily. I, I know they're out there uh, and if I was a little bit less lazy I could find one. I could find one that matched all these. 
Anyway, three-sided die, you roll it, and you look at the number that's up. Same way you roll a four-sided die, that's a three, that's a two. Those are uh, pretty readily available. We've been around for a bit. Um, there's uh, another way to do that is to just put one through three twice on a six-sided die. So those ones are kind of boring. But then you get some of these other odd-sided dice that are made. This one is, a, uh, I believe, specifically made so that it uh, acts like a, uh, the die it's supposed to be. But these ones are made in the same spherical fashion, so you can see sort of the part of the sphere that's been uh, cut down, and obviously it can't land on the sphere, it has to land on the, the flat sides. So this one, um, originally I believe this came out with, from Game Science, this die is a Game Science die as well, and I believe that 24-sided also was first done by Game Science. Uh, this one looks completely unfair, <laughs> but it's not, it does in fact land, uh, of course it's not going to do it when I, there we go, it does in fact land on all the sides fairly equally, I mean, uh, this one again, it's been through a rock tumbler, so it's got some imperfections, um, although I would argue that almost every die has imperfections, uh, casino, if they're not casino dice, if they're not being used in the casino, then they're going to be, uh, they're going to have problems. Uh, these other ones are, uh, were made by that same, uh, guy on the 3D printing service, or group of people, I don't know, um, I believe, again, you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I've seen them on a 3D printing service by the same person who made those other dice. I don't know if someone else made them first, but they, I believe a company contracts with him to make these. This one is an 11, uh, and as you can see, some of these numbers kind of run up the edges here and are in very weird spots. They're kind of bent numbers. That's a 6. Uh, this is, I believe, a 9. If I can find the 9. There we go. That's a 9. That one's just freaky looking. It looks it looks like it doesn't work. <laughs> looks like it shouldn't work. And this one's a seven. I had it lying on the seven there. This one I like because it's just so weird and angular. Like it's it looks like it's one of these die, but obviously it's one of the ones that's kinda cut from the sphere. And they have another seven sided die that's very similar to this one, except it has a pentagon instead of a triangle on the sides. And a couple other styles like that. These ones are pretty interesting, I like these. Um Getting up a little bigger in the common range, you can get these. These are uh, 60s. You can also get, um, get uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Anyway, this one's a 60. Uh, this one, as I was saying about the 30, this one is far too big, and it just rolls forever, and it you could play with it and like that and play soccer or something. It's never going to stop. Uh, you have to kind of lightly, nope, 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 but you got to keep it in a dice tray, basically. If I had a dice tray here, I would show you that, but you can't uh, really roll it very much. Uh, it's just a solid hunk of plastic, whatever type of plastic they make dice out of, and it's very nicely made. It does sit on one uh, side, and it's hard to, hard to roll once it is on there, hard enough to roll, at least you can read the number. It does have all the numbers nicely printed on it, so it's cool, but it just never stops rolling, and it could probably put a dent in your table uh, if you really let it. Uh, this, one, this is one of the bigger ones that you can get readily available. It didn't cost that much. It cost like five bucks. Um, one of the ones I don't have here, I believe you can get a 26-sided die uh, and a 32. Those ones I don't happen to have, but those are the ones that are in between this pile over here and this one. Um, some that are out of production that were by the aforementioned Game Science are ones like this, which is the, uh, the 50-sided die. You can still get these. This one was $10, so, uh, far too much money. It goes from zero to, where it is, 49. It goes to 49, if I can, uh, find, there it is, 49. Zero to 49. Um, you have to jiggle it like this before you roll it, otherwise, if you just roll it, kind of like that, it'll obviously only land on one side, um, and it's not a very good die, it doesn't really have, it does have facets, you can see the facets, but barely, um, it's really just sort of for fun, and you can also spin it like a top, um, if your balance is better than mine, and if a tripod wasn't right here, blocking my hand from going any farther than this, um, this one is probably one of the least practical. 
uh, and considering what you're about to see in a second, that's kind of a stretch. Um, oh, that's saying something. This one is, uh, I mean, it's fun to use. I like it, but uh, it's just kind of silly. It's really heavy. It's heavier than this one for sure. Uh, you could probably rip, if you have like a felt table or something, you'd probably rip it. You could probably dent it. You have to roll it like that. You can't throw it. Um, anyway, uh, these ones are, like I say, are out of production, hard to find. They only come in this color, which is why they're different than the, the white of the other ones. And another Game Science one, this is a hundred sight to die, and it looks like a golf ball, doesn't it? That's what everyone says, ha ha ha. It's like everyone says that these are spiky when they drop them on the floor. I have a question. Why do you leave your dice on the floor when you drop them? Why don't you find them immediately? Same thing with Legos. I don't get it. I've never stepped on a Lego brick. I've never stepped on one of these. Uh, I'm going to cross my fingers and knock on wood now. All right. Anyway, it goes from 1 to 100. There we go. It says Game Science on it. And it says stuff that I can't read. Made in some place Mississippi with a number on it. Um... Made in the USA, yep. Yeah. And then the yeah, the patent number. So you can patent them I guess. And then the Zo Zokihedron, I believe that's how you pronounce. Zokihedron, I have no idea. I'm sorry, uh sorry name of guy who made game science. I can't pronounce it. Anyway, this one is really nice because it's got the uh the plastic coating with the facets, so the numbers are nicely printed on a bowl inside with the facets kind of stop it, and the ball inside is hollow, and there are beans in there, which means it does stop rolling at some point, unlike something of equivalent size that uh, is just made of solid plastic. This doesn't mean you can't roll it across your table, should you want to, but it does stop. It's uh, kind of hard to read. That's a 59, I believe, which you can't read because of the glare. I'm sorry about that. There's a 59. I promise it's there. Um, this one, these are out of production as well, so uh, the colors are limited. There was a white one, but the white ones, I believe, were a bit off when you rolled them, so they replaced them with some colored ones. Uh, they don't. They're expensive. This one was 20 bucks, and it's probably the biggest waste of 20 bucks. And I, I enjoy it, uh, but it, it's, a, it's a waste of 20 bucks. Um, there's, there's no reason to get this. You can get 3D printed ones for like uh, 40, 50 bucks, I think. That's a waste of money, too. 100 sided die is a complete waste of money. I don't know why you would ever really buy one. Uh, I am crazy, but this thing is cool. Uh, and it is a possibility. It, it looks uh, cooler when you whip it out than to roll. I can't find them right now. I'm going to roll two of these D10s. So, yeah, there's that one. I've mentioned 3D printing, and you can get some dice 3D printed. These are two of my favorites that I've had 3D printed as well. This one's a D2. This one you can't. I mean, these ones have no point, but whatever. This one's a one-sided. I like this one. <laughs> you can technically get it to balance on the uh, the other side, but if you roll it, you'll always get a 1. Here are some 3D printed ones that are currently going through some stuff. There's a 32, a 50, a 24, a 26, uh, and a 28, I believe. Those ones are cool. Uh, and finally, I've showed this in a video before. This is the D10 uh, million, the 10 million sided die. Uh, it rolls a random number between 0 and 1, uh, and 9,999,999. Uh, and this one you have to make, obviously, with a composite of other dice, but it's fun and interesting. Uh, this uh, probably. You can, I believe you can get a set of seven somewhere, but you can get you usually get sets of six or something. This is the most colorful I made out of those, since you can't get them in all white, which is kind of unfortunate. So this relies on the same principle as these two. You roll them, and you get four million seven hundred and forty-nine thousand three hundred and sixteen. There we go. And uh, you put that in frame, and uh, you end the video on it. Uh, those are some interesting dice that you can get. These are some of the more readily available ones. The 3D printing ones are more expensive. They take longer to get to you. They're not as technically readily available, but they are possible. There's a bunch of other 3D printed dice you can get. Uh, they're, most of them aren't particularly useful, but I like them. They're fun to use. They're fun to look at. They're fun to roll. I like rolling dice. I like weird stuff. So, 
uh, you can easily find some of those for sale. Some of them are harder to find than others. Like I say, the 24 is uh, actually coming, becoming uh, much more easy to find, as are the 3 and the 5, 3, 5, and 7. It, those have fascinated people for a long time, so they're easier to get. Anyway, uh, those are just some interesting dice, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.